Hey, hey, hey. What's up, everyone? This is my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel, my Instagram creations. So, if you are not familiar with me, I am a certified miniature slash technician. An entrepreneur all around the board. This channel is specifically for miniatures. So, like for my videos, I want to introduce a new series called Drumline, please. Tell a T. So, I know y'all are wondering, what's Tell a T? Tell a T is a series that I basically just tell the T with my feedback on the T I just told. You guys will see me doing a miniature in the process. While I talk about trending topics that's going on around in the media, recap, story times, maybe. Whatever I want to talk about. So shade or shade your tape, I slay. The second portion of Tell T is where my spillers, which are my viewers who are who want to spill the tea, send in tea to my email and I will tell the tea in my story, get feedback and advice. I know some of y'all like, uh-uh. I'm not telling my business to you in the world. It's okay, because this is for the people who don't mind me telling you strictly a and T besides me. So this is for all the people who want to participate in telling the tea. You will remain anonymous. Even if you are okay with telling who you are, I'm not going to tell you anything. I'll be the first person. I will first be a filler, fillers, from the plural. If it's the first story, I will name you Spiller 1, Spiller 2 if it's the second story, and so on. Get fake names for you guys telling a story time. And of course, tell me what you want to tell me. Don't give out any information you are unsure of telling to the world because this is public. If you use your fantasy by telling your team. I'm just not going to read that part and only send in to the email I will put in the link in the description and in my bio once it's out. So my tea spilling email will be separate for my main email, which is my Adrienne Creations. Please do not send it to my Adrienne Creations because I want my manicure and tea spilling page. To be separate and not put it on someone's email, okay? Okay. Let's we'll talk about what you're going through, what you've been through. What you see down the street a few minutes ago? Any tea you desire to tell me? And another reason why I want to start this series is because Gossman, aka spilling the tea, is a big part of the manicure culture. For example, everyone knows the universal joke. You get your nails done, the manicure is asked you. You have boyfriend. You say no, not no more. Eat to her or the tea while you're getting entertained and beautified and feeling like that girl. When I'm doing this series, I will not just be doing human hands. You'll see me do press ons as I'm doing in this video. Silicone hands, display nails, any cross thing I can do nails on. Just letting you guys know what to expect. I will still be doing videos where I narrate what I'm doing as I'm doing them. Okay. And the seasons will be going by yearly. So, for example, I officially started till 18 of July 10th, 2024. So, this is season one. And next year of 2025 will be season two. So, I can keep track of how many episodes. I will be putting out yearly. Alright. I am my teaspoon page is not up yet. I will let y'all know when it's up. Like like I said before, I will put that link in the description and in my bio. Alright. That's enough of all that boring talk because it's putting me to sleep. I'm going to snooze. Let's get to the fun start. Time to start season one. Episode 1 of Tell a T. Now, this series is named BET T because there's a lot going on at the BET Awards. This past week, it was June 3rd. Okay. We have Gonna Be Uncaught a Rat, a Rat a Tat Tat, a Rat a Tat Tat, Rat a Tat Tail. Gonna want it, man. 
You can't be in the city doing all that ratting and shit. Red ass. Keep keeping his folks eating chills and rolling blunts, acting like the BET is a trap house. Yeah, I get him. Where y'all being get him? I'm about to hit to the wall. Yeah, get him. Damn, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You ain't get him. Only your friends. You can't. I'm gonna go rich ghetto nigga, man. Be real with my nigga. Sosa, Sosa. You know your little hood red friends? You know your little hood red friends? I don't have to hate you. That's your little one? That's your little red? I'm not a little red. Hood, go ahead. And you know you guys ain't tight on nowhere. You know you guys ain't here? Period. Be easy, shit. He flew red on self. Feelings was hurt over mispronouncing of his name. Us a trippy performance. That lady with the gun purse, icy spicy weight loss, and Tyler winning the award of a sexy bread. So first things first, we're gonna talk about it's Gunner. Okay, Gunner was seen outside the BT Woods on a blue carpet, red carpet, whatever color carpet it was, he was Getting the breeze, living easy, breezy, cover girl. And some random pedestrian man came up to him and was like, Hey, you can't be in my hood, all that. Right to tell telling, snitching and telling, telling. Some lady was like, Oh, what? Oh, what? What you said? What you said? As made as the man who called him a rat, he was walking away, and I guess he didn't. Want no smoke for real, girl. And that was the end of that. For real. Oh, and then some lady, she was clutching. Some old lady, she was clutching her purse. Like, oh my God, what's going on? But yeah. So my opinion on that tea is, it was very much so lame. Basic cable on do man. It's like, <sighs> Garner did not rat on y'all. Like a funner. You know, so why does it matter? I don't know that man, y'all. You don't know y'all. <sighs> okay, get over it. It's so crazy how rat team is just so more. I put that more at a like a pedestal, more than like a port and stuff. Like most of these rapper dudes and all these celebrity peoples talking to minors and stuff. And now they just, it's now it's just coming to the light. But when it comes to writing, it's just like, oh, it's the end of the world. But you got people out here with abuse charges and all that. Like, y'all not worried about the bigger picture. Okay, y'all remember that dude who was um that Corvette, Corvette dude, Corvette, Corvette, some, 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 and the jet, jet, jet. Yeah, he was, he was popping. And then he fell off real bad. Like, he just fell on. He barely fell on. And he fell off because he was so-called ratting or whatever. But I usually see a lot of people who come out and rat, they fall off. And I don't think it's really that right because, I mean, yeah, y'all all did the crime. Now y'all want to, now you want to snitch, but it's like... Would y'all go to jail for 20 years to life for somebody and throw, throw away your life for someone? Especially for someone who won't do the same thing for you. Girl, please. Okay? And especially, for example, say you in a crib or whatever. You and your whole family sleep. That's some weird... A truder man just come in here and just murk y'all whole family. And y'all know who did it. You, you seen the cameras. You know who it was. Y'all telling me y'all won't tell the police. Because y'all just so big and focused on this non-street snitching code. Like maybe. <laughs> forget all that. And the people who always talk about some. Just so fake big on telling, 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 telling. They not even in the street life to even be knowing the street codes. Y'all just be making up stuff. Okay. But, but yeah, I heard the main 
cold on her erect chest. Cat. I heard that he did some clout chasing and stuff around the street. He was trolling people. Like, who, who invited you? Why, why are you here? For real. Y'all remember that other man who called Governor a rat? His security guard pressed him and was like, hey, we should do that. And do they want to repeat what he said? It's like, oh, somebody already, already called her and invited her. They're late. They're late to the party. Don't be tired before the party. Okay, all he did was tell him to see how I feel when I'm selling the food. Uh, yeah, I ain't really much to say about that. It was just a short little six second video. That's it, that's cool. Uh, yeah. So, next to he said, So, so baby, y'all been wanting to go stay straight. They went to so big, kid, you was in my dang face. And I hit him in the ball in the baby, yeah, something, something, something. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, okay, so we have him and his folks eating Cheetos and rolling blood. Okay, I thought this was an old classy party. So, like you read, reported, he, he and her folks and his folks or whatever. At the BET, she was sitting next to her alleged baby dad he his son said he's eating you know he them stank and resonate everybody know them girls stank they stank good shit they grow stank bro they just be stank but they be good but they be stank bro they stank they stank then say the world and his other folks do that they have the nerve, the audacity, to be rolling up their blunts. It was like simple establishment. And I want to talk about this because it's like, oh my gosh. Wow. It's like, yeah, it's not surprising it comes from them. That's the bread or It's a all know the real hood. I come from a slum for the slums. So it's like, it's a complex place. Like, come on now. Like, we're not doing this at any other award show, we're going this and that. So, y'all want to do this at the BET Awards, at all awards, you know, for black entertainment. It's like, y'all doing this scenario for people, black hood, right? So, and it takes me back to where a while ago, she was upset and angry and mad at BET for not inviting them. And it's like, that's why now? I see, I see. But, like, come on now. You see, and this stuff. And I, I would really hope y'all make them fruit rolls and not about to smoke them. Too. Like, come on. You can, you can always be yourself with this tone. But that comes down a little bit. And do that at the after part. But, yeah, um. What else happened? Uh oh. I just feel like bringing like a whole entourage of people is just very that so it's good right in itself. Like, like it need to be a rule. You need to have a rule. Like you can't have one. I need to be just for, like your bodyguard or something. But it's like it just comes from your hood. I just want to. And they wasn't even dressed up properly. They didn't even have. Proper award of fire. I see what they was wearing. So they went ahead and was pushing to the outfit. He felt that his coat was basically wearing regular clothes. I had on a nightgown. But whatever, ain't much to say about that. I'm good with it. I'm good with this one. Feel good with eating them shoes. Alright. Next tea. We have Keith Lee, aka Chung Lee, the street fights her. Alright. So, what am I to say? Oh, so 
Taraji P had she was hosting to be E.T. And she was having a segment where she was giving people their flowers. And he goes over to Keith Lee and mistaking him for the other TikTok dude. Which he just he was recording videos in the mirror and stuff. He called Keith Lee the other dude name. Keith Lee very much did not like it. His wife had a very much fake face that she missed. And then he took out his name, Keith Lee, but he said, Oh my bad. And kept it going, give him his flowers. And that should have been just that, okay? But Keith Lee took it upon himself to know a video of him dropping the rose that Roger. He has tried to get him. And he made another video stating that it was not his mama just because she mispronounced his name. And to Roger P. Henson said something online. It was like, hey, 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 it's not that serious. He's pretty much so mad. I feel like a little boy, but I don't know what he said. And that's not exactly what he said, but I'm just, I'm just thinking he did something like that. Yeah, and my opinion on that is it was very much so lame. It was, lame. It was not that story at all. Okay, let's talk about Keith. I don't feel like saying his whole name. We did some boo who just review food in his car. And contact is content. Is very um boring to watch. It's very like serious in videos. It's just like you're preparing, you're preparing. Okay, you're preparing. He plays to Taraji P. Henson. He plays a list of her movement in this game for years. Yeah, he did, you know, help out for some of the blow up how black must watch get more crying still but it's like if she know who you are she know who you are like she has better things to worry about she got all this stuff going on and she's the older lady a lot of older people don't know what's going on in the top of the world unless you don't know all the people who just like being a young folks business okay but and there's just so much going on at the awards show. It's just like, ain't nobody read about a little old piece. Who are you, sir? You look like a regular man. I'm surprised he even had a wife. Okay, he gave very much close to his sister. Like, girl. And there's another video of him getting angry at some dude because he called him somebody else. And he was ready to fight him. It's like, dude, you were that mad. It's getting very much so entitled. Like, I hate when people act like everybody has to know who you are. It's, it's better to worry about. All these people in this world, all them people that was in that building. It's very much so like, like, and Taraji, like, she, she doesn't have price. She never said nothing to her. She never back to him he was like this is all you need to get off the right but yeah ain't nothing much to talk about with Keith girl he gonna stay in his car getting big eating people food for taking people food that's very much so it guys ain't nothing much anyways next see we have Usher, baby. All right, Usher tributes performance. A lot of people in the sh streets, in the in the urban streets, are saying that his for his tribute performance was mid, meaning mediocre. It's giving very much so boring, boring, boring. 
and I watched it. And it was cool at some parts. Some parts was kind of like, uh, oh, put me to sleep. Or oh, put me to sleep. I did think that they could have did a little better, well, a lot better than what they did because Usher is a very big artist with a lot of hits. It could have been more pizzazz. Like, it could have gave a Missy Elliott performance. Michael Jackson performance. Like, it could have been one of the performance. You just got to keep looking. You know? But, yeah, and then he was talking about how he had so many lady performers. Which, I mean, there's not a lot of male performers I can think about to do his tribute because I don't think it's a lot of good male artists nowadays. It's not too many, you know, for real. But we're going to talk about the, the different um, segments that was going on in this performance. Okay, so first we have Childish, Childish Yeah Be Young. And his vocals was hitting. I very much so liked it. A lot of people saying his vocals was not hitting. They lied. They love. It was cute. He was the only male performer up there. Um. Then what else we have? Kiki. Do you love me? Doing her little performance, it's cute, I guess. Um, her outfit was it was cute. It wasn't going together. I love the bling. I always love bling, 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 bling. Okay, it just didn't match. And she pulled her pants down at the end. I don't know what that was about. It was like, ooh, girl, pull them back up, girl. Which I know they did that for a marketing stance. Because I know that little drama over her and her, her, her BB girl. And who we have here? Summer Walker, Summer Walker, walking on them. And a lot of people did not like her performance. They did, they think she did horrible. Which is like, Summer Walker is not a performer. That can always change, but she's for. As a singer and a performer, I love her voice. She has great music, even though I don't agree with what she be saying on her music because she always got male problems. And it's just like, mm, girl, you talking about the same old, same old, but beautiful voice, you know. But maybe I should want her in in um his trippy performance. You know, I think she did try. She did a little one two one two, but she you know she saw that BBL surgery, all that plastic on her body. She can't really move like that. Also, she attempted to do good because y'all, y'all don't know. She used to just stand there like a statue because I know she got such anxiety. She ain't that. She ain't that shy as we can see. But she did got a little social anxiety where she, you know, a little nervous. Performing in front of people, and I think her stage presence did better compared to her other um, performances recently. She's been doing better, you know. Hope was always on point. A hat was cute, it did not match the outfit. I really hated this outfit, girl. It was so lame. They said, Cable on the May, they should have the mud. Oh, they should have the hat, the hat matching the dig. Oh. Or set thing, whatever she had on, and with some blinked out boots with that. Ooh, girl. And then, yeah, girl, I don't know what else I got to say about this performance, girl. And then she tried. She tried, y'all. Be nice, y'all. All right, next, 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 we have. Coco Jones. I don't know, Miss Coco girl. You see her? You see her in the audience. She looked at she looked at Emily, and Emily was pretty much so looking her up and down, smirking like ooh 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 la la ooh la la. And side note, 
I don't really think Emily like black women and tees and they trying to portray it. I think it's for like a marketing stance. Just how like Michael B. Jordan was remember he was with Lori Lori Harvey who just sit there and look pretty showing me doing nothing. He was with her for a um marketing standpoint because you know he don't he don't really be with black women. He don't really like black women. Cause um I don't really be seen like trying to flirt with black women and stuff, but like I ain't never seen him in no relationship with no real black woman girl. He always was some high yellow girl. Okay, um this baby mama, she light skinned it. And then who else? Who else light skinned it? He was with some Blasian girl. She was light skinned it. And anybody else I see, maybe light skinned it. But yeah, girl. He he faked it like he liked it, girl. Mm -hmm. Okay, we mm. Mm, I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I only believe he really liked a real black woman if he in a relationship with one. But I don't care about none of that. Anyways, back to Coco. She in a crowd singing to people. Singing, singing, singing around. That Miss Kirk Franklin. Oh, I think her performance was cute. Her, her outfit was, it was nice. It was conservative. It was like Bloody conservative. I don't know. Nah, she did good, I guess. She did nice. Then we have, um, whatchamacallit, girl. I don't know this lady's name. Who is this? My bad, y'all. I'm looking at the dang on video right now as we speak. Who is this? Marsh? Oh, Marsha Ambrosusus. So Marsha Ambasusu, she came through under laser beams with this big red hat, and it gave um it gave something. The, the, I feel like the vocals was already hitting like that at the beginning, but um, yeah, she did I she did I This where kind of got boring. Uh uh, it's a commercial. Hold on, y'all. Oh yeah, next we have um Chloe, Chloe Bailey girl, who always forcing her sexuality on us. Her um, what's it called? Her sex appeal on us. But um, yeah, her outfit cute. I like it. I was thinking some walk ahead should have had like something like that. But whatever. Who am I to say? And she been nice. She a good performer. Body tea. Or whatever. Yeah, girl. He's such a good kisser. Alright. Enough of Miss Chloe, girl. Get out my face. Who this? Oh, this where you're born again. We have Tanache nice and slow. It was very much slow and boring. Uh, what was she doing in here? Her outfit sucked. I feel like she had the worst outfit. Like, people do a good performance, but I feel like the, the outfit really puts the icing on top of the cake. Like, come on, girl. You could have done better than this for but it was... Ah! What's going on? She had a studded top. I don't know what's happening. Uh, you got, oh, uh, what's his name? Tyrese with the bias still. Yeah, she could have something linked out, girl. Oh, this outfit was so bad. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Who this? Oh, this is Tiani Taylor and Victoria Monet. What's up, Victoria? Always mind this blonde head, girl. I feel like they did 
They did good, girl. I guess they really had to come with that lesbiano energy for the inner pride month, okay? And y'all, how was y'all pride? Comment below, how was y'all pride month? Alright. Because I'm always here for the pride to be who you are. For your pride. But yeah, they ate. They ate, girl. I like that, that girl. Who, who we have next? We have, um... Who is this? Oh, Jesus. We have Latte. This part was so completely unnecessary. Why is you here, girl? Why, why are you here? Okay, why are you here? This She was rapping Ludacris' part. But it's like this is a tribute for Usher. It's, for, it's supposed to be all about Usher. Why? Why? Who, 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 who passed this? Who accepted this? I'm so confused. I'm, I'm, I'm lost. I'm really lost for words right now. I don't know what to say. The stage looks nice. But it's like, girl, why are you here? Like, they could have had another song to sing Usher part. Oh, I was, ooh. They really tried it with this part. Because if it's an Usher tribute, it's supposed to be all about him. Don't have, don't be singing nobody else's part. Oh, ooh, this is disgusting. Now, all the girls came together at the end. Looking nice. Looking cute. Beautiful. I feel like they could have did, like, a and sync dance together. Like, that would have that would have been cute. But they all doing their little thing. And that was it. Girl, that was it. It was... I'm going to rate it from 1 through 10. Of course, 1 being terrible. Should have never happened. A 10 being cool. Ten, I mean, a 10 being the bomb. Not just cool, the bomb. It's it's a, um... I don't know. But yeah, I'm going to give it a 5. Yeah, 5. Because it's like... It didn't blow my mind. A lot of the outfits suck. Who, who was boring? Tanache was born. And then Lady Marshy, she was like, Yeah, just, they could, they could be a little bit, I can't lie. And, oh yeah, a lot, and, and Latte, very, very unnecessary. They did not need her to sing Little Kiss' part. I'll be highly offended. Like, if it's a tribute about me, make it all about me. <laughs> oh. Anyways, that's enough for that. Next tea, we have that lady with the gun purse. I guess her name is Angela Simmons or whatever you call a girl. Let's, let's go find her. We about to talk about her. Now, she out here posing with this gun purse. Looking very goofy. Looking very goofy. How you look conservative with a gun purse that'll match? For her looking like a chipmunk girl. That's what it's giving. And her dress is it's awful. I ain't gonna say all that. But it's giving rearranged peacock. It's giving peacock fur. But just in diamonds. I hate it. Um, she looks so goofy. Like, uh, because she pointing the damn going. Done first. Well, I don't know how YouTube work, girl. Can you say that on here? Well, I'm gonna just say the pow pow purse. Okay, the pow pow purse. She carrying that girl. And at first glance, it kind of looks real until you see like the bottom part is kind of thick. It's a cute purse. I can't lie, but it's like I don't see no zipper. Are you pointing at people could have been 
people could have thought that was real and could have like pulled something out on you and then you could have got 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 girl you could have got got in front of all these people girl in front of all these cameras girl um yeah angela simmons she's with yo yo Gotti. you know the rapper guy and then um she's somebody's daughter somebody's daughter from back in the day he was one of the first rappers or something i don't think she really do anything important i don't think she's really that girl for real but yeah and then oh yeah y'all her dude her ex-husband apparently allegedly got got killed due to guns and then you want to promote this at the award show i don't think that's really acceptable you know it's like that should really traumatized she was giving very much so she really didn't care for him that much she promoting stuff like this <sighs> girl and I feel the same towards this situation with the pop off person, with the heat situation, with the blunt, and the Ishido's, and the sports shows. Like, y'all are putting out a bad message. And I'm really getting to like, oh, you're putting out a bad message. It's like, really, you're taking no responsibility. You want to have to act accordingly or, or certainly. To, um, be a role model, but it's just about the kids at this point. It's just put a bad message on black people in general. You know, it's just there's a lot of ignorant stuff going on at BT last year. We had JC throw her phone at Lil Uzi, and she allegedly got slapped by a a Glorilla. Um, ooh. I don't remember BT being so messy how it is now, but I guess this is how we young folks do. This is coming a fashion party. Damn, not a fashion party. That's why they be calling the EBT Awards. And I really hate it. I really hate it. I want the BT Awards to be a bit more classy because it's a black and paper award. Come on now. Oh, now I'm be getting nothing going on at the other wood. What's up, sis? The lady, I said the lady. The lady allegedly apologized um for bringing that gun. Oh, 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 the pow pow person. Ooh, show. I really feel like it's just a marketing standpoint. And y'all. Like, for celebrities apologize, it's just really for their own sake, not just because they generally care. <sighs> Alright, as we get running out of time, I will be making a part two to this video because I still got a little bit more stuff to talk about. And I'll be writing outfits. Okay, so that's your set. Yeah, this is Friday, Bling Bling Bling. Happy 4th, well, happy belated 4th of July. What did y'all do? Comment below. What did you eat? You saved the plate for me. I'm just playing. I don't want that plate because I know it's spoiled. But it's okay because y'all still popping out from fireworks, so I can still pop out this video. But yeah, I was making, I was having a good time packing that 3D flowers that I forgot that it's liquid inside of them. And the other nail is a 3D glow in the dark flower. Okay. But yeah, y'all comment below which nail is your favorite because mine is the middle one, the American flag. But yeah, if you made it all the way to the end of this video, I highly, highly appreciate you. Um, tell a friend, tell a friend, we can all be friends. Like, comment, subscribe, give me feedback, tell me what I can work on with this series. Y'all are free to comment below. Um different topics to talk about and like i said stay tuned for part two because i will be coming out very very soon but yes yeah, stay blessed never stress toodles